This tutorial covers running steady-state simulations in BioWin. With BioWin, it is possible to run steady-state simulations even if some of the model inputs are time-varying, like the influent element in this configuration. BioWin will apply the average flow and flow-weighted average concentrations of any time-varying influent element for the steady-state calculations. Other variable aspects of the plant operation that have been input to the model will be averaged as well. For example, suppose a time-varying airflow pattern had been input to the aerobic bioreactor. The average of the airflow rates will be applied for the steady-state simulation. Before running a simulation, BioN runs an automatic check on the readiness of the model setup. You can also force this check at any time by clicking the red check mark on the main toolbar. BioN checks that all elements have pipe connections and that information on physical characteristics and operating mode has been input for all flow sheet elements. If a pipe connection is missing, or an element has been placed on the flow sheet but no changes have been made to the default properties, then a dialog box that indicates which elements are missing information or connections is presented. The properties of the elements that are missing information can be accessed by double-clicking on their names in the list. To initiate a steady-state simulation, click the button that looks like a watch with a slash through it or press the F6 key on the keyboard. This presents the steady state solver control interface. Here the user can specify what the solver engine will use for its initial conditions. If C conditions are selected, BioWin will develop initial conditions based on its own internal algorithm. Often this is a good starting point for the first simulation with a new model. If current values are selected, then BioWin will use the model's current numerical state as initial conditions. This is useful if a previous dynamic or steady-state simulation has been run for a model. Starting the steady-state solutions from those prevailing numerical conditions may result in a quick steady-state solution. Finally, if a steady-state has already been solved for a model, there will be an option to use that last steady-state as a starting point. Once you click the play button, the steady-state solver will launch and iterate toward a solution. As this happens, note how the iterations increase and how the numerical error of the current iteration gets smaller. It happens fast. Here's a replay. You can also choose the complex seed option for systems that are proving difficult to solve. In this case, BioWin launches a dynamic simulation, monitors both the total time simulated and the numerical stability of the dynamic simulation, and then launches the steady state solver from the conditions that exist when those criteria are reached. If the steady state solver has performed many iterations and the error is not decreasing in a consistent manner, you may want to try changing the steady state solver settings. These are accessed via the current project options menu on the numerical parameters tab in the steady state solver group. You can change the steady state solver algorithm. The default and most recommended is the BioN hybrid method, which is an optimized alternation between the other two methods. The modified Newton Raphson method reduces the error in large amounts compared to the decoupled linear search method, but may be slightly more prone to having difficulty in finding a solution. In most cases, using the hybrid approach is best. The best approach in the case of a system that is having solution difficulties is to try conservative solver settings. These are accessed through the Steady State Solver options. It is easy to switch between predefined normal and conservative solver settings by clicking the corresponding button. It is also possible to change individual solver settings. Once a Steady State solution has been found, this status will be indicated in the main BioN window. Note also that if a model file is saved in Steady State, it will retain this condition when it is reopened at a later time. The summary panels in the main window are a good way to quickly view steady state simulation results. Important mass balance information can also be viewed by pointing at pipe arrowheads. Tables and time independent graphs like bar and pie charts are good ways to capture and view steady state results in the BioN album. This concludes the tutorial on running steady state simulations. Please see Envirosim's video library for other tutorials to help you become more productive with BioN.